Okay, we are continuing our journey through problem 2-2-A. We have done all of the journal entries in the last video. Now we're going to post those journal entries into T accounts. That's this step. And this is sometimes called posting to the ledger. The general ledger looks a little different, but it's the, the same thing is essentially happening. So if you're learning to post to a ledger, your format's going to be quite different if you're proper, posting to a proper journal, general ledger. Uh, but it's the same technique. You're just moving from journal entries into accounts, and that's what we're going to learn to do. And I, uh, T accounts are just the simplest way. Um, so what is a T account? Well, let's explain. Uh, I'm going to, and you might have noticed that the writing here is smaller. I might even make it a touch smaller still. Uh, a T account is just a big T with an account name on it. So for example, this first August 1st journal entry where I say debit, cash, credit, common shares, I'm going to need a T account for cash because cash is involved in that transaction. So there's a cash T account. Uh, and in fact, I'm going to have a section here for my assets. Somewhere down here, I'll do some liabilities. A little bit further down, I will do shareholders equity accounts, then revenue accounts, and last, I will do expense accounts. So it's not all going to fit on a page here. It's, it's, you know, this is, for me, it won't fit on a page. For you, it should fit on a page, I would think. So my cash T, I actually want to be extra long because I know so many transactions involve cash. The first transaction, debit, cash, co credit, common shares. So the T account has two sides. The left side is for debits, the right side, unsurprisingly, for credits. So when I debit cash a thousand, I literally just write a thousand <laughs> underneath the word cash. I have a six year old daughter and she says literally for everything. Dad, I'm literally coming upstairs right now. Like, okay, thanks, kid. Um they <laughs> just literally everything. So I just said literally, I caught myself. Um uh, credit common shares. Uh, so I go down to shareholders equity. I'm going to make a T called common shares. And I credit my common shares for the same thousand dollars that goes on the right side. And you can see the T is a lot shorter. That's a normal length T account for our problems. Of course, when we're doing this on computer, it's like an infinitely long T account. It's as long as it needs to be. Uh, we're dealing on paper, so we have limitations here. Debit, rent, expense, credit, cash. Okay, so I'm going to go down to my expenses. I'm going to write one for rent, expense. And this is all this problem is. It's just li oh, literally. <laughs> what's, what's a replacement word? <laughs> it's actually just writing the numbers. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm going to say literally 800 times in this video. I can feel it coming. Debit rent expense, 600. We're going to literally debit it, 600. We're going to credit cash. Oh, no, I'm going to lose my mind in this video. I can feel it. Debit cash, credit bank loan payable. That's our August 2nd journal entry. So let's debit cash, $5,000. And we'll credit bank loan payable. That's a liability. So I'm going to write that under my liabilities. Bank loan payable and that was for five grand next debit equipment four grand okay let's deal with that right away debit equipment so that's under my assets now i even like to break this down i know i've got some current assets coming i'm going to put the equipment over here sort of i like to try to sort <laughs> oh, that's pretty messy i like to try to sort this out almost in order of liquidity if I can. So I know cash will be first, then I'll have AR or supplies, something like this. Uh, and then equipment will come towards the end because it's a long-term asset. So that's why I'm writing it over to the far right. If you don't get this quite right or in a perfect order, don't lose your mind. It's fine. It just makes your life easier later, but it's it's no big deal. Uh, debit equipment, four grand. Credit cash, one grand. And credit accounts payable, three so I've already screwed up my order of liquidity because bank loan payable is long term, AP is current, and I've written AP to the right of it. So it's already out of order, but it's no big deal. Credit AP for three grand. Um, okay, continuing. Uh, received and completed first tax. Oh, I don't have to read that. Debit cash, credit tax, and revenue, 400. Debit cash, 400. Credit tax, and revenue. I'm going to need a new T for that.
400. Uh, next, debit supplies, credit AP, 200. So put supplies here. Credit AP, 200. And if, if you're feeling like, I feel like I'm running out of space in that AP, just make it longer. Uh, you want to leave yourself room to be able to do that, of course. Debit AR, credit taxidermy rev, 600. So AR, 600, taxidermy rev, 600. Uh, debit, dividends, credit, cash, 500. I'm going to put dividends in with my equity. Uh, you could also put this just at the bottom of your expenses, like the very end. Dividends, uh, 500, pardon me, and credit cash, 500. Debit, utilities, expense, credit cash, 200. So I'm going to make a new expense, utilities expense, uh, what was it, 200, and a credit to cash for 200. Uh, where were we? Utilities expense. So next, debit AP, I'm here. Debit AP, credit cash, 3,000. Debit AP, 3,000. Credit cash, 3,000. Now we are here, debit telephone expense, credit AP 200. Need a new T for telephone expense. Telephone expense. And uh, debit that for 200. Credit accounts payable for 200. Debit AR, credit taxidermy revenue, 600. So. AR, oops, what am I talking about? I just did that. I, I did that already. I, I was reading the wrong 200, 200. Debit cash, credit AR, pardon me. Debit cash, credit AR, 600. So we're collecting that AR. Debit cash, 600. Credit accounts receivable, 600. You do need to be careful because you can make mistakes. I nearly slipped up there. Debit cash, credit taxidermy revenue, 250. So credit taxidermy revenue, 250. Debit cash, 250. And last but not least, debit salaries, expense, credit cash, 1,000. Let's just do it here. Salaries, expense, 1,000. And we're going to credit cash, 1,000. Okay. So at this point, we've completed our T accounts. We just need to total them. And so how do we total them? I'm going to move this over. How do we total them? Well, if we only have one item, like salaries expense, it's already totaled. You don't need to do anything. Taxidermy revenue, though, I have a bunch of credits because I earned a bunch of revenue. So 400 plus 600 plus 250, I have 1250 in total taxidermy revenue. So I, I just, I was going to say literally, I just draw a line across and I write the total underneath. Um, common shares and dividends are fine. AP, the total is going to be, you add the left side, so I have 3,000 on the left side, I have 3,400 on the right side, the big side minus the small side. So if you have two sides, if you have debits and credits, just take whatever's bigger minus whatever's smaller. So 3,400 minus 3,000, that's 400. And the astute among you might have been saying, well, why don't I just like cancel those out and I have 400 and that's totally true. Uh, equipment, no need to do anything. AR, zero dollar balance, supplies 200, and now we need our calculator. Let's figure out how much cash we had. So we're just going to add up the left side. 1,000 plus 5,000 plus 400. Oops, plus 400 plus 600 plus 250. So 7250 in debits. Now, again, this is not a number I actually need to write anywhere. I'm just writing this for our purpose. 7250 in debits. I'll write the credit number on this side. You don't need to write this, though. 600, just to sort of show my work. 600 plus 1,000 plus 500 plus 200 plus 3,000. Well, 3,000 plus... 1,000, and I get 6,300. 
So I have 7250 on the left, I have 6300 on the right. I take the big side minus the small side, the big side gets the balance. 7250 is the big side, 6300 is the small side, 950 is my ending balance on the debit side. So we have now completed all of our T accounts. Let's see, I'm zooming out quite a bit. Uh, that's most of them on the screen. I'm going to leave that there. The only one off screen is salaries expense. I'll leave that there. You can pause it and see, sort of scramble through and make sure you've got all the same numbers as I do. But at this point, we're ready to go. We have completed part B. We've transferred all transactions to T accounts. Part C will be in the next video. We will prepare our trial balance. That's all for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Bye for now.